So how does latitude, or distance from the equator, affect climate? Here's a very simple drawing of the Earth. Here's the equator across the center line, the North Pole and the South Pole. Now in this model, I'm going to use my laser pointer as a model of the sun and the sun's light shining on the Earth. Now you'll notice that if I point my laser pointer straight at my board, you'll see that the dot is very focused, it's very small, it's very tight, and it's very bright. But watch what happens if I move the dot now. I'm going to take this and I'm going to move this dot and I'm not going to shine it straight on. I'm going to slide it over at a steep angle and I'm going to hold the laser pointer almost directly on the board. Do you see what's happening to the dot? Let me do that again. I'll put the pointer straight above so that it's shining straight at the board. Notice how tight and focused and bright that laser pointer dot is. And then as I change the angle and tilt it, notice that it's changing from a dot and it's starting to spread out now. See how that laser pointer, that light, is starting to spread? And if we could measure that, we would notice that that light's actually getting dimmer. So here's the way this works. When sunlight is shining directly on the Earth, when it's hitting on the equator, those beams are hitting at a straight angle. But as we go further north, you'll see that they're not hitting on a straight angle now, they're hitting on the edge of the Earth. They're spreading out. So those beams that are hitting closer to the North Pole and closer to the South Pole are closer in model to these long beams down here because the light is spread out. The light that's hitting the equator is closer to this tight focused beam because it's hitting straight on. That's really hard to imagine with a two-dimensional model with a drawing on a board. We really have to look at it with some three-dimensional modeling. But that's a simple way that we can look at it and model it and see how changing the angle of the light spreads it out. That's going to change how much light actually hits the Earth and how much temperature, how much heat that light's going to carry when it gets there. So that's one of the ways that latitude affects the climate of the Earth.